Okay, well, that woman was clearly too stupid to live. No big loss. However, the next morning, Jeanette starts to realize that something is wrong, mostly because Albert is too big of a creep to cover himself up. Why are you staring at me? I told you I'm tired and upset. I spent the whole night working in the laboratory so you could wake up as you are. How many more times will you have to treat me? A few. All I would have to do is tell you to make you realize how deeply I love you. Jeanette! No! Did I mention that he's a gigantic creep? Well, she writes a letter to send to Pierre. Remember him? And gives it to Sasha to mail it for her. I haven't any more cigarettes, and you know I only smoke this kind. Please go and buy me some. Uh, while you're at it, would you mail this letter? And get something for yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, please take it. Do take it. You will remember to mail the letter, won't you? But if there's one thing you can count on disfigured assistance for, it's loyalty. You understand? Mm. Run along. As Albert hides up again to go murder, Pierre is in a club trying to forget about Jeanette. Don't tell me you've been pining for me. Well, I have, if you want to know. Hi, Yvonne. Am I wrong, or are you getting fatter? It's becoming, isn't it? <laughs> These were different times. And they didn't even bother to dub in his clapping. Albert comes back through his secret passage from his murder and mayhem and sees himself in the mirror. That's another broken mirror. This movie is not going to have good luck at all. The next day, a newspaper informs Jeanette that Albert's boat came in, so she escapes to go see him on the docks. If she could escape, why hadn't she already? Their reunion is cut short, however, when Albert and Sasha come up from behind to attack him and take her back. Pierre then goes to the police. It was she in front of me. But in the dark, with the fog and all. But I know her. I couldn't possibly be mistaken. There's... But there happens to be a real doctor who might give us some information about this miraculous recovery. Will you let me come with you? Yes, but on one condition, however, that... No, I'll tell you in the car. That he never see her again? Seriously, we never hear what the condition is. But I guess it's to pretend to be a cop because that's what the chief has him do. Oh, this is Police Sergeant Duran. The time before, I asked you a question which you were kind enough to say was intelligent about the psychological reaction of the victims of an atomic explosion. Well then, perhaps my own supposition will be an absurd one. But think of the ships that arrive here from Japan. And this, uh, said Doc, is it possible that he's one of those? I see. You've been impressed by the recurring factor in these cases of the wound from the throat to the sternum. The obsession of a vindictive-minded man who has been poisoned or disfigured forever by atomic radiation. One might even say, a vampire of the atom age who wants to recover. And we have a title. And it doesn't make the slightest bit of sense. I can understand describing Jeanette, via Albert, as a vampire because she is staying beautiful through the murder of others. But the chief doesn't know that. In what way is killing women and ripping something out of their chest because you are hit by nuclear radiation vampiric? Nice try, movie. Also, Albert and Sasha had hidden an unconscious Jeanette in the greenhouse during the police visit. Why? I do not know. It's not like the police searched the place, and yet they are clearly suspecting Albert now anyway, as the chief has Monique exhumed. Then I must ask you to proceed without any further argument. Very well, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Meanwhile, Jeanette is done. She realizes that Pierre will love her no matter what, and wants to leave to be with him. Well, your scars are already returning. <gasps> Embryonic still and all but invisible. I give you my word of honor. It will only take a few days. Perhaps only one day to make the final application. Yeah, I've heard that one before. And he gives her back her gun. That strikes me as a stupid move on his part. And, conveniences of conveniences, Sasha comes in to tell him that Pierre is here to talk to the doctor about seeing the miraculously cured Jeanette. Who is here? Who is here? Pierre. <gasps> Sasha. Let her go. 
Yes. Run to him. Let him see you like this. Go away with him as you are. <laughs> Remember, I gave you my word, and I shall keep it. It will be your decision, then. And Jeanette chickens out of leaving with Pierre, somehow still trusting Albert. It is not Albert who is speaking now, but Professor Levin. I have to win, you see. Oh, did I mention that Albert is a doctor who's obsessed? Yeah, of course! Doy. As Pierre leaves, though... He sees a pack of cigarettes, the only brand that Jeanette smokes. Obviously, she's there! Albert goes out that night for one final murder, but he doesn't go as hide and he doesn't use a secret passage. So the police follow him to a movie theater he's able to sneak in and out of. His murder attempt fails miserably, though. We now meet back up with the real star of our story, the intrepid reporter, Leroy. Well, from now on, you mind your own business, get me? That's your orders, Chief. But will Leroy listen when the police order him to stay out of the theater? Of course not! Leroy Dragons! Oh my god, he just ran in. While there, the pathologist returns to tell them that Monique was killed like the others, thus proving that Albert is the murderer. Back at the manor, Albert wakes Jeanette to tell her that he's finally failed when he says... No. It's impossible. The treatment has taken effect at last. I guess it's fortunate he didn't succeed in his murder tonight, as her gland would have just gone to waste. However, when Jeanette rejects him to return to Pierre, he starts to change into Hyde without his Derma-25. Uh, that would make sense if this was actually Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and the Derma-25 brought out his inner evil. But it literally changes his body chemistry like a mutation. I hate it when sci-fi stories can't even maintain its internal science. Jeanette goes for a gun and doesn't shoot. I guess she didn't get that gun from Chekhov. But Pierre, who's prowling the gates, hears her screams and runs to save her and gets his butt handed to him. This movie has really ineffectual heroes. Albert, now permanently Hyde, runs to Sasha for help. But he's finally had enough of his master. That's right, not when he killed Monique, the woman that Sasha obviously fancied nor when he made him kidnap and drug Jeanette multiple times, but when he bursts in all monstery. Anyway, Sasha stabs Albert in the back as the police show up. I told you, Henry, the deepest love can also turn into the deepest hatred. Well, come on, give me a light. And the chief starts smoking again. I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. What? Why did he change back? I refer you to my last science rant. So that was Adam Age Vampire. Did it suck? Actually, no. While it did have some glaring plot holes, and there's the sheer fact that Dr. Jekyll and the Werewolf is more of a vampire movie than this. Seriously, there isn't even a bat in this movie. But the effects work are actually extremely good, especially considering the time and the budget I'm sure this movie didn't have. Really, most of its problems, especially the extremely poor acting on everyone except the mute Sasha, can be attributed to the English dub. That includes the misleading title, as the original Italian name is Set Up Liere di Satana, which more literally translates to Sedoc Heir of Satan. That also makes me think that Albert's original name was actually Sedok. Not sure why they would change that. Hell, I'm still not sure if this movie is supposed to take place in France, or if they just went with the French names to make it sound sexy and exotic or something. You know, like me in French. Jamais aller un cinéma, ma mère un vers home de la lune, essaie que tu chantes un chanson de tempes quod tu étais petite, Si vous n'êtes pas un rêve, comment allez-vous faire un rêve venir vrai? So, all in all, this isn't a great movie, and it does drag a bit at times, but it sure as hell is a lot better than the likes of Dr. Jekyll and the Werewolf. I am a vampire, 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 I am a vampire. I'm 
looking in the city but the pretty girls don't look at me don't look at me i don't have my fangs cause i have lost my fangs i am a vampire i am a vampire i have lost my mouth again i am a vampire i am a vampire i have lost my mouth again so i get born and i shred so i pop corn and i poo the weight and i sing with my best Guitar's out of tune I am a vampire and I'm looking in the CD But the musical Don't play with me Don't play with me Ha ha Dax is your evil clone I've finally come up with an evil plan that will finally What happened to your color? Huh? Oh yeah I totally forgot about that Anyway you were saying? Uh I forgot Never mind. Nosferatu!